Okay, the lower gear housing or the gear case is controlled by the battery. There's two magnetos in there, one for forward, one for re reverse. And I just wanted to show you that uh, green is for forward. So green means go. And blue, of course, means uh, reverse. So the re you just remember that by green is go. And, and if I separate the two main lines here, I can get a voltage drop with the, with the uh, throttle uh, in gear, in the forward gear, I should get 12 volts across this connection to the unit, lower unit. And what am I reading? I'm hooked up to the battery, I'm getting about 12.2 volts. So that's perfect. That's perfect. Now, uh, when I hook up the, the reverse gear, I will have to, uh, I will have to uh, put the throttle in reverse, just so you can see this. Um, the throttle is on the ground down here, and I'm going to, right now it's in forward gear, I'm going to reverse it, put it in neutral, and then put it in reverse. Well, if I put it in neutral, I should get zero volts. So we'll go back to the, the uh, right now I'm going to put it in here so now I should get zero volts on the same circuit doesn't matter which polarity I have um, but if I touch the uh, I was doing the green so green to green green to green and I should get zero and of course I do so that's good now what I'll do I'll put it in reverse gear and I should get 12 volts in reverse if everything is working properly so blue is reverse. And there it is. Blue to blue. 12.2 volts. So that means my circuit is working well. And the, uh, and the magnetos should perform as expected. These are, are called blade connectors. So they're quick disconnect, but they're vintage. And uh, you can still get these on uh, MarineEngine.com, but uh, they're not cheap. They're probably like uh, five to eight dollars a piece, which to me isn't cheap. But
Okay. Okay, what I'm doing here now is I'm hooking up a pressure gauge to the outdrive to the lower unit. Now, when I I didn't I drained the oil, but there was no oil in it, so probably the, uh, the previous owner drained it before he started. I'm hoping that's the case. Now, I should be able to get 10 pounds of pressure in this unit, so I'm going to the bottom. I, the vent is up top, and that's been sealed off. So I should get 10 pounds of pressure, and this should be able to hold that for at least 10 seconds, and the unit should be okay if that if it can hold that much that much pressure for 10 seconds. So I'm going to pump this up. Now I've got five. Let's see how far we can go. Up to 10. I don't want to go any higher than 10, and I can blow the seals in it. It's dropping immediately. Seven, six. Yeah, there's a leak in this uh, lower unit. Probably the, uh, I'm going to guess it's the water seal uh, drive shaft seal. It's, uh, it's definitely not holding. Um, could be the seals down here um, where the prop is, the prop seal. Um, most likely, though, it's inside where the water pump is. So that's got to come apart. So that'll be the next step. That failed. Stay tuned. 